my name is Colleen Elaine. I run the art workshops at Istanbul and I. I'm an American and I've been living in Turkey for about two years. Um, Istanbul and I has given me the community that I haven't had before. Most of my childhood I spent in Costa Rica uh, with my mother's family, um, which we were a low-income family and because of this my family is very mindful in reusing and um, and not and being and not being wasteful in what we use, and so this uh, this lifestyle and this mentality has stayed with me um, up until you know well up until today. So during my art workshops, I bring people from around the world, and we um, bring in our trash materials. Um, and during this time, really, we get to make art pieces without any prescribed outcome or any um, pressures as to making something that's beautiful or something that should be art or should be a certain way or shouldn't be a different way. For example, in one of my past workshops, we, um, we all sat down and we discussed how trash is dealt with in our own countries. We mapped out the different power structures and where does it start? Is it an individual action? Is it a government action? Um, and who is solely responsible? And how can we balance these two together? I find that art helps break down uh, cultural borders um, and boundaries. Um, specifically because during my workshops, I time each, um, each project each, during the warm-up session. So it's short time periods and it doesn't give my participants enough time to really plan anything. So therefore, as they're making, they're entering their more of their subconscious um, uh, side of their mind. And in doing so, um, they'll be making things that come inertly from within them. Once we're done with the workshop and we're ready to sit down and discuss it, um, that's when we start finding that we have a lot more in common than we thought we did and that um, culture is just kind of like a layer on top, but really we are very similar. For people who come from low-income backgrounds and just don't have the access to pristine art materials, um, they have the ability of making beautiful, like wonderful work with just what is around them. And because of this, I have been uh, gravitating towards making my work out of trash and these just discarded materials. I found that I found through my practice that there's that there that there's a potential of making something beautiful, something uh, meaningful out of destruction and out of loss and from um, trauma. People come from around the world, um, including Syrians, and these people who have who have experienced trauma. I hope that during my workshop they will have the ability to, um, to release some of this pain and have the ability to reflect on what they're going through. I want people to see the potential within limitation and this is why I push my participants to step out of their comfort zone um, in producing something that isn't perfect. Through these collaborations and in working with Turkish people, I have seeing how they um, how they prioritize their time and spending time together and you know culturally going out for chai their teas and hanging out after work and i think that this is something that us americans could really learn from it's amazing to see my participants learn about each other's cultures as they're working together through the projects benim adim kalina lane istanbulda Sanat Atelier Çalışmalarını yapıyorum. <gülüyor>